Hey, what's up, guys? Night of 2010 from MicroPro.com. Got a shisha review for you tonight. Tangier's Lucid Sour Grape. I bought this from 5starhookah.com. Highly recommend the vendor, as always. Um, this tobacco, as you can expect, typical Tangier's. Very dark, black tobacco. Very uh, sticky. It's uh, lucid, so it's really juicy, and it's it seems to be more I don't know more jelly like I guess you could say than the no ear no ear line was. Um, it just rolls around in the juice and it gets real clumpy and it's very very sticky. It's not oily or or drippy, um, but yeah, most of you probably already know that. Smell. I think I got it on my chin. Smell. It is a sour grape smell. I mean, you know, go figure. It's a, it's a smell like a sour grape gum. Like, I don't know, a gum, to give you an example of, maybe like a, um, I guess like a double bubble. They had... If you remember, I, I remember uh, back when I played baseball, there was, they give you the, you get that big jar, like huge tub of double bubble gum, and there was the bubble gum, there was sour apple, and there was sour grape. That's what this smells like, is the sour grape gum. It smells very, very nice. I mean, it's really great. It's got a strong grape smell. It's not as strong as some of the New Year line, like uh, when I broke open the like cane mint obviously or like the lucid melon blend that filled up the whole room with the smell this doesn't necessarily do that but when you do smell it up close it does have that strong grape smell it's nice it's very pleasant it smells sweet like a gum it's not candy like or anything like that but it is very sour gum smelling um anyway i have been smoking for about Hour, hour 15, somewhere over there. I forgot to keep track. I'm halfway through watching Wedding Crashers, if that gives you an idea. Um, anyway, I got two Cocoa Jammers on my Pico Bowl on my single pair KM with a Namor hose. And I have two Cocoa Jammers on there. Those got down pretty small, so I threw another one on the burner. Just put that one on five minutes ago. So I've got two small Cocoa Jammers and one fresh big Cocoa Jammer. So it's really, it equals out to about two brand new Cocoa Jammers is what it is. Uh, I took the wind cover off because I put that new coal on. Too much heat for a Pico Bowl. Anyway, um, let's give you guys some smoke, some t uh, taste, flavor, effect, buzz, all the good stuff. Yep, it's Tangers. Not much flavor. It's slightly there. I mean, it's not strong by any means. I, I don't have ice in the base or anything like that. It's just water. Um, but it's lucid. I mean, it smokes really easily because it is lucid. But the flavor isn't that strong, which I find is kind of the case with some of the lucid flavors I have. It's not as strong as nowhere. But, I mean, it tastes like it smells. Or if it's like a mellow version of the smell it doesn't taste like the gum or anything but there you get just a grape it's not a sour it's not a sour taste but you get a grape taste kind of yeah clouds are awesome i mean that's great but 
Yeah, the flavor is just not there for me. It is good. I mean, what you can taste is very, very nice. I love the, the grape. Um, it's just not super strong, I guess is the best way to put it. Flavor could definitely be more strong and more sour. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, I'd buy this again because I like having Lucid. Um, because when I do smoke with people, they're they're more. Most of them are like like if I smoke with my parents, my mom, she'll come out and, and hang out for a while. But she doesn't like the buzz very much. It hits her pretty hard, you know. She's kind of small. I, I don't mind the buzz, and I'm actually kind of getting my tolerance up to where I don't feel it as much anymore, like nowhere. If I hoover it for a while, yeah, I'll get a, I'll get pretty lightheaded, but it's not as big of an effect anymore. Like, I'm fine, because it's lucid, so I like having that, because, and then like my friends too, they're mostly either Starbuzz people or lounge style smokers. They always buy Starbuzz, Fantasia, all that shit. So, when they get real tobacco, I call it real tobacco, I call it Nakla, Alfokker, Tangers, uh, DM, all that kind of stuff is real tobacco, is what I like to call it when I'm talking to them, but, so, I like having Lucid because it's got that lower buzz, but, I, I would pick this up again, because I only got 100 grams, so I would pick this up in a 250, so that I would have, I could pack it in my large, or, I'm sorry, my small funnel, and see if maybe that gives more flavor than a Pico, just because there's such a small amount of tobacco, but, the flavor is definitely not as strong as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to give this one here a 7 out of 10 just because the flavor is so, so lacking. But it is pleasant. I mean, like I said, the smell is awesome. And the taste that you do get is a nice grape taste, but it's not sour. That's another reason. It's just, it tastes just like a regular grape. It's not necessarily a sour grape. So I'm ordering soon um, some Noir grape, just plain grape from Tangers. I'm hoping... Maybe that'll have a strong grape flavor because I like flavors to be almost overwhelming where you, it's, you don't have to look for it. You know, it's nice. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll probably pick this up again just to have it, you know, but hopefully if I pack it in a bigger bowl, maybe that'll bring out some more flavor. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, guys, Tangier's Noir, or I'm sorry, Tangier's Lucid Sour Grape. It's going to be a 7 out of 10. Um, picked it up, 5 starhugacom awesome vendor. Check out hookahpro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. I'm Knight of 2010, and until next time, I'll see you guys.